You ever been to Lake Thetis? What's Thetis? Thetis nuts! Ha ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> Just got hit with the oldest trick in the book. Literally the oldest trick in the book because these, these are one of the oldest life forms on Earth. That's how old the trick in the book you just got tricked with is. Hi, I'm Dropped Pie. You wanna learn about some rocks, guys? These Dromalotites are an old breed of being. One of the oldest, in fact, yet they appear to be the inspiration for your average modern Sydney apartment, barely built to standard. In spite of there being like literally no standards. It's the oldest life form on earth. They weren't laws back then. These living ones here are one of the few that still remain on earth. It's things like these and the gorgeous formations in Karajini that remind a thinking person just how old this continent is in every single respect. From the first cultures and civilizations to our rock formations and even the very fetus of life in Lake Fetus. It seems Australia's mandate comes from our origins before time. Life and civilization have laid claim to Australia before the very concept of the gods was even born. Australia is not mandated by God, it predates it. Or something. I mean, it's just a bunch of glued together sand after all, so who cares? A permanent saline lake placed on a coastal plain, only 237 kilometers north of Perth. The nature, nutrient poor, groundwater flow fed festival of ancient life has brethren in a similar circumstances such as the Stromalotites on Rotnest Island. Though this is by far the largest. Much like Amazon to its workers, these Stromalotites actually need an environment void of wealthy nutrition to thrive, as it keeps waters clear and thus letting benthic or bottom feeding microbial communities to grow. According to a paper from Kathleen Gray and others that I ripped straight from researchgate.com, the most reliable source for research papers that are free, is what makes this lake particularly interesting to the types of people who understand terms like coicoid of cyanobacterial mat and thick flocculent mat composed of phototropic prokaryotes means is that the lake is both microbial communities and lithothite stromalotites. If this was a Stellaris game, it would be as if symbiotic microbes lived with lithoids or something. For once, my gaming knowledge is what is failing me for comparison here. I've only played Stellaris like once. Other features include having a woolly looking or flocculent matting and the fact that the stromalotites, likely emulating the tactics of certain anti-Semitic groups and the Nationals Party during the 70s, stacked branches in a way that is only common in the pre-Cambrian period. All you're getting here is an intro and abstract deep analysis of these rocks. I'm sorry, I don't want to read an entire paper on Lake Thetis to give a rundown. Not when I have to Google 75% of the words, which almost always link me back to the same paper in a snake eats its own tail cycle that goes endlessly without reminding into a deep psychological recess of my mind. Now at the forefront of conscious thought, unrepenting. <laughs> or something. Ciao.